So they have got somebody. He is going to be a regular, as I said, because we're looking the world of how to see and um, start um, focusing on cricket and development. Definitely, I've got the head coach of the Lagos State Cricket Association talking about Agram Adeyemi Jones, um, Jones, actually. I want to say Johnson joining us right now. How are you doing today? How are you I'm doing fantastically well, and how are you doing too? I'm good, I'm good. All right, and um, you've, in fact, I want to really give kudos to the states because they've done so well, keeping us very busy, making it so much that we are developing serious interest when you talk about cricket and the development in the states. And just last weekend, they had another big one, meet the coaches. Mm -hmm. How did it go finally in Lagos here? It was really good. Meet the Coach was uh, an event where the parents were able to meet myself and get to know more about what I'm doing in the community and I'd get to meet them. So I knew at the end the parents and the children together as one united um, so we could build a better relationship from that. All right, building a better relationship um, from that. And um, how many schools attended this? It was two schools. It was the Parkado and Majidun School. Um, and from that we were able to establish uh, when training would be happening would be now announced training session on Sundays so parents can have concerns about their children traveling to Unilag every week so now they're training on a Sunday locally and all the schools in that community will be going to train. Uh, How often are we going to be seeing this? Uh, in terms of the parents uh, committee or meetings it will be once a month I think for now. Um, they were really excited about it, to be honest, and they had lots of questions, particularly around equipment and um, their child being involved, and obviously safety, security, and obviously I was there to assure them that. And my philosophy as a coach, discipline, and that is important. That discipline is not just you know on the field, but in the classroom and at home. So to be united on that front. Now that we've got it to this stage. The meet and greet is said is going to be a monthly affair. Mm -hmm. After this stage, what ne next when you talk about development of cricket in Nigeria? So the trainee program, the coaching system program, which will be rolled out next month, um, rolling out first in Majidun School, and that will be for the kids and in the community of Ikurudu. And then after we do that, then obviously we'll get it further afield onto the island as well. So coaching, bringing new coaches through, um, with a world-class training program, which will be fantastic. A lot of these children are 17, 18 years old, so it's great for them to get the opportunity. All right, how much support are you getting from Lagos State as a coach? Especially when, you, when we know that you're not from Nigeria, from Trinidad and Tobago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a lot of support. You know, the Lagos stakeholders, the Lagos Cricket Association, they're supportive and they're doing what they can. Of course, I've got to give a big shout again to the Nigerian Federation. Uh, they've supplied equipment to be able to go into the schools and deliver. So that's fantastic as well. You, let's talk about um, the high performance program. When is it starting and where will be the venue? So the high performance program will begin on the third week of June. So that will be the best players for Lagos who will be training um, at CMS Grammar School. And that will be um, between 10 and 10.30 more and they'll be training there. And the aim will be to prepare them as a squad for the youth games that will happen uh, anything between um, uh, July, August time, where we're, we're expecting. We're just waiting for the Nigerian Federation to confirm when this tournament will be, um, but we're going to be preparing regardless. All right, um, how many kids um, are they going to be calling to camp when this high performance program begins? Uh, anything between 25 to 30 kids, I would say, young players. Both boys and girls? Yes, we're looking at boys and girls. So there's a boy side. Um, under 15s. So that's what would be under 15s. So UEFA has actually confirmed that an independent and comprehensive inquiry will be conducted into what happened ahead of Saturday's Champions League final inquiry. And we know that game was delayed for 35 minutes due to fake tickets, drama upon drama. But at the end of the day, how would you describe that final? I'm sure you must have watched it. You must have taken a break from cricket to just see a bit of good football. I told you that Real Madrid would win. I told you on radio that Real Madrid would win. And they won. And I expected it from Real Madrid. Um, yeah, so it is what it is. Madrid won. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not really in the greatest of spirits because uh, Arsenal mm -hmm. are not in the Champions League, as you know. <laughs> um, and Tottenham are, but I also predicted that as well, that 
Tottenham would overtake Arsenal when Arsenal were in good form. Mm -hmm. I predicted that as well. Mm -hmm. So, hey, I'm gutted. <sighs> All Arsenal fans will always keep crying. Arsenal will do the good job and still use the hands to spoil it. That's what we see in Nigeria. Listen, I said Ancelotti should have been Arsenal manager when they picked Arteta. Now look at Ancelotti. Baby manager. Baby manager Arteta. And don't forget that Ancelotti may end up not wanting to come to Arsenal because he wants somewhere maybe they are ready to spend money and they've got world class players. So don't forget that too. So before we quickly leave, let's go back to cricket. And now. What and what are we expecting from that um, part of um, the association as we wrap up the show? Um, we have the league coming. We've got the women's league coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. That um, um, I think it's like October time. We've got the women's league, cricket league coming up. We've got the Lagos State. Lagos State mm -hmm. women's league. We've got the um, obviously the CCC starting again in October. Mm -hmm. We also have. I'm going to mention our under 17 squad. Um, that will probably be taking part in the league as well, which is mm -hmm. going to be exciting. So we'll have a position where young players can uh, play together um, in the league and develop and become better players playing together. Of course, when you go into these competitions now, we have a squad that's going to be quite phenomenal moving down in the future. So that's uh, all positive. All right. Um, the last part of this week, what are we expecting from the Federation now that you're preparing for that? Let's talk closely now. What will be happening within the week and the weekend? Uh, training at Unilag um, for the next couple of weeks. We are now separating the two sides between development, which allows more young players to come in and learn the game. And on the other side of things, we've got the high performance, where players that have played cricket before and have established can go on and develop their skill set even further to get them into eventually that Nigerian setup. All right. And then I want to say a big thank you to Mr. He's actually the head coach of the Lagos State um, Cricket Association. Ingram, we love to call him. I love to add a DME before you now give him his son in Jones for joining us on Sport Cafe today. Thank you so much. All right. And massive thank you to, to you for joining, being part of this. Let's make it a date. 10.30 STV, Silverbird News 24 for the midweek edition. You know how we do it. Let's keep a date to that.